London, we have linked with other Filipino communities, and so we help one another in our projects. But most of our projects as an association is in the Philippines. We have the scholarship program, we have the milk feeding program, then, then we have cribs as well, which is the uh, uh, creation of responsive sharing. Uh, for it's a home for abusive, well, abused children and women. And the newest one is the Invisible Sisters, which uh, the Invisible Sisters is an association, a charity one in the Philippines, uh, with projects in uh, helping poor families generate livelihood. Uh, livelihood. So I've got some. Uh, materials here, the finished projects um, being sold in the UK and in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we help them finance the training of these women in the production of these goods. And hopefully it will become their livelihood. Yes. Oh yes. Um, I think we have already done with the upliftment you know, uh, through our projects, the image of the Filipina has been uplifted. And uh, we always say, Co Vadis, <laughs> FWA, what next can we do? Um, so I think, uh, yes, it has evolved into an important asset of the Filipino community, this Filipino Women's Association, and I'm so proud of it. Um, through our programs in the Philippines, we have projected our, um, the image of the Filipinas as very productive and very helpful in charities. In here, because of our professions, because you see, um, most of the domestics who came over here were professionals as well, but they were not uh, practicing their professions. And now, most of us have gone to out of domestics. Most of us are now in hospitals, we're hospital workers. Um, I work in Hammersmith Hospital as a renal admissions officer. And most of these domestics before have now their businesses as well. Um, not only practicing the professions, but having established uh, uh, some businesses like there are entrepreneurs now, restaurants and, uh, and others. So I think we have already achieved in the main objective before, which is the upliftment of the Filipino image. We are now being respected in the Filipino community and in the British community. When I first came, I was a resident domestic in Oxford and my first employer was an Austrian lady. Uh, well, it's a big house in uh, Oxford, on top of the hill, and it's so lovely. Uh, during breaks, I could go out in the garden and look at the uh, shining uh, spires of Oxford. <laughs> um, my duties were to cook for the lady. Um, so I was taught some, she was German, so I was taught uh, German dishes to, uh, to do for her. Uh, we had quiches and goulash and schnitzels. And well, she was very impressed because I could, I could follow all the recipes. Um, well, she didn't ask me what I was before in the Philippines. <laughs> Uh, but I was, uh, well, of course, I was teaching for 16 years in the Philippines. And so she said, I speak better English than they do. <laughs> and, uh, but some of the domestic tools I, I had to learn by myself, like the Hoover. Of course, we didn't have Hoover in the Philippines. And on my first day, uh, she just plunked the Hoover in front of me and said, this is your Hoover. I said, mm -hmm. What is this Hoover for? <laughs> I, had to, I had to imagine, oh, maybe it's for the carpet, you know, to clean the carpet. In the Philippines, we have the broom. But in here, so again, but how? How do I manage this Hoover? 
And so I had to study the Hoover by myself. And my first employer, I worked for seven, seven months. And because the, uh, the weekly wages were so low, it was 15 pounds, uh, 15 pounds during those years uh, per week. And I had a huge debt in the Philippines and coming over. And a, and a huge family as well to support. And I said, um, I said, I, could I go to London where the, the weekly wages were higher? And well, with a lot of recrimination from her, she said, okay. So I went to London uh, and worked uh, in a um, nursing home somewhere in Cricklewood. Well, it was such a, uh, I don't know, there were so many Filipinos in, the, in that uh, nursing home. But we have uh, oh, bizarre duties. We have two sets, of, uh, two sets of uniforms, one for cleaning, you know, become domestic, you're hoovering and dusting. And then the sister will say, come and help me with the wounds. And then you change into a nursing uniform with a cap and you go and help dress wounds. Okay. And then I, I went to another uh, resident domestic post, looking after three young boys, and as the housekeeper as well, in an English family, and I stayed with them for 10 years, until the children went to boarding school. And so I said, oh, Will I be dusting the same table every day without the boys? It would be boring. And so I opted as well to go out and became um, a uh, ward administrator in a hospital, St. Mary's. I'm out of the Philippines for a long time, but I still hear about corruptions in the Philippines and cronyism. Um, so I would love to hear assurances that this has become less or none at all. I have high hopes for the president because he is the son of Corazon Aquino, who I respect very much. So I would, I would be very delighted to hear uh, these advances in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Although I might be going home this December. Uh, visit the scholars in the Philippines again. I was there two years ago visiting the scholars in Erdatec and Lakeshore and it was a lovely time with, uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the teachers there as well.